Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Bruno Fernandes to check out. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is 5 foot 10, high, high work rates, right footed, 5 star skimmels, lay 4 star weak foot. Uh, player traits he has solid player leadership long shot taker long passer playmaker flair outside foot shots uh guys the way that this card is formatted for you to use him in your team is obviously going to be in certain roles right so let's say for instance you were to use this card as your attacking oriented center mid in a 4-3-2-1 that will be his best position right um i'm actually going to be using him in this tactic which is going to be the 4-5-1 because with this 4-5-1 um it's the one with the cams I can actually play him over on that right hand side because the instruction kind of fits the way the card generally performs right so uh we should be able to get some defensive opportunities with the card but obviously we'll be taking a look at that kind of stuff uh with bruno depending on how you end up lining him up in your team you can either uh present this card with the anchor chemistry style or the uh hawk chemistry style because with both there's going to be two different types of accelerates right so on the anchor boosting the defense a little bit and the physical while giving him a pace while still working with good stats everywhere else is obviously fantastic but then if you give him the hawk chemistry style you boost the physical the shooting and the pace and it's still a very well formatted card at a 97 for stamina while working with a high high work rate so again those are like the general areas that i see the card uh being used in the most uh, passing on the card, obviously, a in a fantastic area. I feel like he might have, like, really cool uh, passing animations in-game because he obviously has a CPU AI trait, which I know that they say it's a CPU AI trait, but trust me, it's like it helps with, like, animation choices from the cards in certain situations. So could definitely be a very nice thing to work with. His dribbling is all in the 99 area, but he does have a 5'10 height with a unique body type, so we do have to experiment with that in-game. Because, guys, you guys know how dribbling works in this game. Even if you have 99 dribbling stats, um, you have to test out other variables, right? Uh, defending, uh, he has decent stats, and then for physical, he's set up very nicely on that Hawk chemistry style. So, yeah, we'll be using him in different positions. Uh, for the review, we're trying out this 451. He will be in that right mid area, as well as the left cam position, right cam, just switching him constantly, right? So, um, yeah, we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully, he is a beast. That's one way to score. That is one way to score for sure. Defense and the focal point and attack is Gabriel Jesus. Oh, nothing there. That was actually a really good finesse shot. Oh, I try to create that ball roll scoop opportunity for the middle. I say, as he wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. That's really good and effective physical play. A switch of play now. Oh, a lovely ball. I don't know what just happened right there. Couldn't tell you. Oh, I tried to dribble there. Couldn't do it. Killian Mbappe. Bruno Fernandes. Mbappe. Oh, come on, man. That whole play was going to be so good, too. Better here. Fernandes. Dangerous looking through ball. Honestly. Gameplay is so heavy and emphasized, but I'll take it, man. That skill move is just so effective against AI. Oh, that was really good, too. Get 
Oh, I thought a tap shot would be good enough there. I gotta put power behind that. Oh, a direct one. It was on target, though. Well done, boys. Good build up, good build up. That was a ridiculous pass. Really? I, I can't... Your finesse shots inside the 18, I don't score that. I have to... You know what's crazy? I have to do like a, a, a near post green time strike. I gotta do like a FIFA finish, you know? If I scored a... If I hit a green on that, man. No, dude. Oh. That initial pass with Mars is so good. I just needed that one more pass there, man. That's why Virgil van Dijk's new car is amazing, because he can make that pass, and it's a goal. There you go. Well done. Get out the extra passing angles. Oh, this game. Oh, this game. This game. This game. This game. This game. This game. Oh, this game. Ho, oh, ho. Oh. Nice pass. Oh, nice try on the finish. Nice goal. Beauty of a goal there. Oh, I couldn't score that. I don't know if I... I, I guess I have to do, like, extra passes. I, I guess I have to, honestly. Oh, I had it too. His AI is the one that saves him in the fullback position. Right up. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Yeah, they played well in the last game, but they need to match that performance today. It should be a good game this one. Wow. That's one way to score, man. Nicely done. Good build up there with Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes! And here's the lineup for meat and drink. Mark Andre Ter Stegen in goal. Hang on, Derek, it's a chance here. High degree. I think he used manual goalkeeping, that's why he shot like that. Bruno Fernandes. What can they do from here? Who can he pick out? Nice goal. goal. Good job, boys. Good job. The lineup then for the hosts. Wojciech Szczęsny stands between the posts. David Beckham starts alongside Dirk Kaut in the center of midfield. And then a turn. Oh, what a chance. This is Beauty. Beauty. Good finish. My boy Bruno. Bruno Fernandes. Ah, uh, you know what I try to do there? I try to like just work that space just so I can get the through ball to him afterwards. Mendy has it, and the emphasis is on creativity. A glorious chance. Ah, uh, yeah, I hate that man. I hate manual goalkeeping with a passion, bro. They should be stuck there. Back 
Oh, of course. Oh man, thank goodness for Mbappe, let me tell you. Thank goodness for this guy. Oh Bruno, good defensive play. Oh, it was a good pass by Bruno. Unlucky. Mbappe. Counter attacking very much at option. It's there for him. Ah, oh, nice try. Oh, man. I definitely should receive full possession, but. Well done, boys. Good near post angle. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Carvalho. Nice, Bruno. Nice, Bruno. Oh, come on, man. Such a good play by Bruno, too. There it is. Good build-up play. Wait for the opening space. Nice little goal-scoring opportunity. We'll take it. Nice, Bruno. Sure, I'll take it. Sounds good, bro. Go in! Oh. Oh, that is a ridiculous goal. Wow. That was crazy. I was about to say, let's go, Bruno. Good stuff. Well done, Bruno. Oh, well, yeah. Nice, Bruno. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Bruno Fernandes card. So, uh, yeah, like I was mentioning earlier, the way that you would have to use this card in game is obviously going to be as your attacking oriented center mid or, you know, if you're playing like a three back formation, playing him over on the side positions, right? Like specifically the right side because of him being a right footed player. Um, I was playing him in a four five one tactic where he was being played as a right mid, which to be fair, if you're playing like a 4-4-2, you could actually use him in that position because um, he does have like attacking capabilities for the most part, right? On this tactic, it's kind of set up like this, right? So the instruction for this one was come back in defense, get into the box of the cross, get behind, right? So you could totally do those types of instructions for a card like Bruno, uh, because he's basically the type of card that you can use either in the attacking areas or the defensive areas, which is obviously a W. Um, it is nice to be able to provide him with the Hawk chemistry style to make him like, make him an explosive player, because technically speaking, if I was gonna play like a 4-2-3-1 narrow formation, and he's being played over on that right-hand side with the high, high work rates on an explosive, it's basically like, an improved version of Diogo Jota because he has defensive stats and he has really, really good pace stats, um, defensive stats, you know, dribbling stats for that type of area, right? So um, generally speaking, it was a really nice card. I liked his passes a lot. His passes were very, very helpful to work with for a lot of the goal scoring opportunities. It's really, really cool. But what I will say is that 
even though his dribbling stats is at the 99 for everything, uh, because he is five foot ten at a unique body type, his unique body type has a physical element to it. So obviously, if you're playing in this gameplay, majority of the time it feels horrible, right? But if you're playing this game, playing or dribbling, you will feel that physical element on the card. You're not going to feel like super, super responsive left stick dribbling of the card uh, because the unique body type makes him more physical oriented, right? Which obviously doesn't really matter that much because of the fact that you can use this card in different positions is a W because with Bruno Fernandes, it's nice to be able to switch to a formation like the 4-4-2, 4-2-3-1, 4-3-2-1, uh, a 4-5-1 because he can rotate constantly, right? If you give him the Hawk chemistry style, you can play him in most positions. So that's obviously the W to work with with this card. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.